वेलकम बैक टू वन मोर वीडियो ऑन थेरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न एनालिसिस ऑफ स्पेस फ्रेम यूजिंग टेंशन कोफिशियंट मेथड आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर फॉर एनालिसिस ऑफ स्पेस फ्रेम दैट इज टू कैलकुलेट द फोर्सेस इन ईच मेंबर ड्यू टू अप्लाइड लोड लेट एस कंसिडर द स्पेस फ्रेम एज शोन इन फिगर सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डिसाइड द पोजिशन ऑफ x y and z axis because in space frame we have to calculate the coordinates and the component of the forces along x y and z axis so that we can apply the equilibrium conditions so first step is to decide the position of x y and z axis now in this case you can see that a is the origin that is all the axes that is x y and z are meeting at point a second step is calculate the coordinates of each joint now in this frame there are six joints that is a b c d e and f so we have to calculate the coordinate of each joint next we have to calculate the component of each force if there are n number of forces then we have to calculate component of each force along x y and z axis now in this figure there is only one force p which is acting towards c so we have to calculate px py and pz next step is we have to choose a joint having maximum three unknown forces now here we have to look for the joint which are in space so here joint e and f are in space so at joint e there are four members meeting whereas at joint f there are three members fa fd and fe so we have to look at the joint where there are maximum three unknown members or unknown forces acting so in this case first of all we have to solve joint f and then we can go for joint e next step is after choosing the joint having three forces we have to apply equilibrium conditions summation fx equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 and summation fz equal to 0 so we get tension coefficients in all the members and the last step is to calculate the force in each member force in each member is given by tension coefficient multiply by length of that member so let us see these steps in detail let us understand the steps for analysis of space frame using this example many times in space frame problems plan and elevation or side views are given but sometimes 3d sketch may be given if 3d sketch is given then i will advise you to first draw its plan and then side view or elevation now in this problem uh, in this space frame there are six members that is af be ae then fe ec and fd in problem it is given that there is a vertical wall and this frame is pinned to this vertical wall at a b c and d it is also given that a b e f is a rectangle in horizontal plane and there is one force which is acting at joint f this force is acting towards joint c so this is the given problem now let us understand step by step procedure how to calculate the forces in each member now to start with first of all we have to draw the plan of this frame if you look at this figure from the top you will see x and y axis then you can see this square Uh, it is not square it is rectangle of 3 meter by 4 meter 
so let us consider this is point a this is joint b e and f if you look from the top you can see these four points a b e and f then below a you can see it is joint d similarly below b there is joint c then there is one inclined member ae as shown in this figure length ab is 3 meter and df sorry be or af is 4 meter then you can see that this is the origin that is all the axes are meeting at this joint so a is origin that means we are going to calculate all the distances from a so coordinates of joint a are 0 0 0 that is x is 0 y is 0 and z is 0 so this is how we have to draw the plan now after drawing the plan you must check whether you have mentioned all the joints in this plan so there are six joints a b c d and e and f so check whether all the joints are there or not so this is our y axis and this is our x axis so this is the complete plan of this space frame now we will draw side view side view in side view first we will draw the member af like this then a is origin and this is our x axis now you can see in side view z axis there is one inclined member which is fd you can see it like this then you can see that behind a there is point b and behind f there is point e and this is point d and behind d there is point c so these are the six joints in this frame a b c d e f so after drawing this side view again check whether all the joints are mentioned on the figure or not once you draw plan and elevation next step is to calculate the coordinates of the joints a b c d e and f so for this we will make one table like this in this table you have to write x y z coordinate and all the joints a b c d e and f now while writing the coordinates we will read x and y from plan and z from side view so let us see one by one so coordinate of joint a as you know that a is origin so x and y you have to read from plan so you can see here it is origin that means its coordinates are 0 0 from plan and z coordinate you can read from side view it is also 0 next joint is b for joint b there is y coordinate only which is 3 meter it is on x axis so x coordinate is 0 y is 3 meter and z is also 0 then joint c for joint c you can see here joint c for joint c x and y coordinate from plan x is again 0 and y is 3 meter and z you have to read from side view in side view you can see that z is below the origin so therefore we have to write minus 3 then joint d for joint d you can see that x coordinate because it is on x axis x coordinate is 0 then y coordinate is also 0 because it is on y axis then z coordinate from side view from side view it is minus 3 then joint e for joint e you can see that for joint e 
what is x x is this distance which is 4 meter y is along y axis so joint e we can read from plan x and y so 4 and 3 from side view you have to see what is z z is 0 because it is on the axis so z for point e is 0 then f for f along x axis it has coordinate 4 meter along y axis it has coordinate 0 so read x and y from the plan and z from elevation now you can see that for point f the z coordinate is 0 so this is how we can calculate the coordinates of all the joints. Once you calculate the coordinates, the next step is to calculate component of force P that is Px, Py and Pz along x, y and z axis. For that first we will consider the members df, fe and ec. So let us draw these members. So this is member FE, this is member FD and this is member EC. This is Y axis. In problem it is given that the force P is acting at joint F and this force P is acting towards joint C. Then length of the member FE we can read from the figure that is 3 meter. Then length of FD we can calculate it is under root of 3 square plus 4 square which is 5 meter. Then length of FC can be calculated by considering triangle FEC that is under root 3 square plus 5 square we get 5.831. So suppose this angle is theta then as you know that we can resolve this force in horizontal and vertical direction like this. So horizontal component will be P cos theta and vertical component will be P sin theta. Horizontal component is nothing but the component of force P along y direction which is Py. So let us calculate Py first. Py is, is nothing but force in member Fe which is P cos theta if you calculate you will get 0.5145 p which is positive why it is positive because it, in, it is acting in the direction of y axis similarly we can calculate the force in member fd so force in member fd is downward which is p sin theta 0.8575 p so if P is given in the problem, you can multiply it by the magnitude of P, you will get the force in these members. So in this way, we can calculate Y component of this force. Now we will see how to calculate X component and Z component. Let us understand how to calculate X and Z component of the force P. Now in last step, we have calculated this force that is force FD which is 0.8575. To calculate X and Z component we have to look at the side view of this frame. So here first of all we will draw member AF. This is our Z axis and this is member FD. This is X axis distance AF is 4 meter you can read from the figure and AD is 3 meter so naturally FD will be 5 meter so in uh, last step we have calculated this force FD which is 0.8575 P now if you resolve this force along X and vertical direction then you will get the x component that is px and py sorry pz uh, this is vertical component pz so px will be this cos 
थीटा एंड पी जेड विल बी जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव सेवन फाइव पी साइन थीटा सो लेटेस्ट कैलकुलेट सो पी जेड इज एफ एफ डी दैट इज फोर्स इन मेंबर एफ डी साइन थीटा सो साइन थीटा इज थ्री बाय फाइव सो वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन फोर फाइव पी एंड इट इज निगेटिव वाई इट इज निगेटिव बिकॉज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स इज अपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्सिस देन वी कैन कैलकुलेट एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ पी विच इज नथिंग बट फोर्स इन मेंबर एफ डी कॉस थीटा सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट कॉस थीटा इज फोर बाय फाइव सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट सिक्स पी एंड इट इज ऑल्सो निगेटिव बिकॉज इट इज एक्टिंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्स एक्सिस सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट वाई कॉम्पोनेंट एंड जेड कॉम्पोनेंट इन दिस केस इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ ईच जॉइंट ऑफ स्पेस फ्रेम एंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कंपोनेंट ऑफ फोर्स अलॉन्ग थ्री एक्सिस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू विल स्टडी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टेंशन कोफिशेंट्स फॉर ईच मेंबर बाय अप्लाइंग इक्वेशंस ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम एंड देन फाइनली वी विल कैलकुलेट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इन ईच मेंबर so do watch the next video to understand the analysis of space frame using tension coefficient method thanks for watching